Greetings once again, back fans, and welcome to another Whole House Carpet Cleaning, this time with my very first LG compressor. And it's called a compressor because it's got a squeegee in there that goes back and forth and squashes the dirt in to the rear of the bin, or at least it does in the videos that I've seen on YouTube. And the dirt should, if you have enough of it, come out like a brick. Now it has got a huge brush roll with medium length bristles that are the stiffest, harshest bristles I have ever felt. They are like nails. And this machine, as far as I can tell, is from 2010. Let's see if I can turn this over. And I don't think the brush roll's been changed since then. So that means they were probably stiffer when they were new. So let's see, we'll get real close. All right, so listen to this. They are sharp and stiff and fairly dense. And it's like, well, the whole um, exterior here, the entire nozzle, is like Kirby huge. We're talking over 13 and a half inches this way and about two inches this way for something like over 26 square inches of cleaning area. I mean, that's that's absolutely massive. Oh, let's see, what else can I show you? Here is the ratings plate I showed you in a previous video. I'm guessing that the date is 2010 down there. I can't believe it's 2001. That wouldn't make any sense. And then let's go farther up the neck. See what's going on here with the hose and it is magnetic. Those are magnets. And that just kind of sticks there like that. This is very Dyson-esque. Very similar to what Dyson has. A nice little aluminum tube that expands. Uh, this is the button to go ahead and rewind the cord. It's got an automatic cord rewind. Let's see what else can I show you? You've got the on and off button here. Right here. And then you can turn the brush roll on and off separately. It came with the pet tool. This was coarse clogged with all different kinds of hair. A lot of bristles on there. And this little connector is springy. So it's the first one I've come across that isn't fixed. It actually has a spring mechanism in it. That's kind of different. Oh, let's see. What else? It does not have a headlight, but the filters have been completely cleaned and washed. LG says you can wash them. And whatever the person had for those scent beads, you can still easily smell. So this is in fine shape. All the dust and dirt is out and it smells wonderful, whatever those scent beads were. So incredibly dirty and dusty, really good now, in fine shape. And you have a filter, you know, they don't claim that it's HEPA down here. It's just, you know, a, a filter. And they say that it's washable. At least the manual did, so I washed it. Seemed to come out all right. Obviously a lot of carbon dust there. The main um, seal right here, perfectly fine shape. I don't know um, what it's going to test on the particle counter just yet. Haven't made any formal measurements now since I've cleaned everything. So that will be in a separate video. Let's see if I can put that on. There we go. Um, the carpet selector. I'll show you that. So you've got all these adjustments. And the foot switch here, carpet. This is medium and then high and then this one actually says floor carpet 
and then medium low, I guess, and then back up to medium. So a whole bunch of different choices there. So not, not too bad. So let's get this dude back together and get to a whole house cleaning, whole house carpet cleaning anyway. I know there's one more thing that I want to mention to you that's very odd. I've never come across a machine that operates this way. Maybe it's not supposed to operate this way. Any of you that own, it's a, um, it's a Love 200. It's an LUV uh, 200 model. But you see where the wand goes into this holder? Well, if I take the wand off, look what's under the holder. It is a rubber stopper meant to completely stop up this hose. So what's kind of odd? Oh, and this is the suction relief down here. You can push it with your finger, or if you make a mistake, it'll let you know and go, and you've blocked something off somewhere. But so far, the way that this thing actually works, it's kind of interesting. You need to pre-decide what it is you want to do. Otherwise, you'll hear the suction relief trigger. So when you go and say, I want to, I want to use the power nozzle and start cleaning the carpet, you need to actually recline the machine first. Because if this is stuck back into there, it's going to trigger the suction relief, or it'll try to trigger it. You'll, you'll hear an obvious uh, airflow blockage, which is just so weird. So you kind of have to pre-decide what it is you're going to do. It's just, it's odd. And you'll probably see me make a mistake once in a while because I'm not used to actually reclining the machine before I go and turn it on. But it just appears that that's what you need to do for this particular machine. So again, any owners of this machine, can you let me know if that's the way it's supposed to work? Because I haven't found any confirmation of that. I was figuring the changeover valve in there is, is bad, but I can't say that either. It's just very different. I'm not, I'm not used to anything like that. All right, so... Enough of my blabbing. Let's go ahead and do a whole house carpet cleaning with my first LG. All right, this is take three of this particular scene. I've had a couple of false starts. But if you don't recline the handle, if you want to use a power nozzle, this happens. <laughs> and if you notice, I already have a little bit of dirt in the bin because, like I said, this is take three. So, let's go ahead and recline and let's turn the power on and let's see if take three is a good one. that I needed to retake was because the wheels were all squeaky and I had to go and break some WD-40 out because everything was just embarrassingly squeaky.
kind of get used to that sound after a while. Okay, carpet line time. It's got a bunch of little carpet lines. I'd probably say, oh, I don't know, every two and a half inches or so. It certainly disturbs the pile. Oh boy, it does that all right. get a few inches underneath there. See how it does over there.
and see if I can show you some more carpet lines. There, there's a giant large swath. So you can see how they are. They're pretty close together and they're definitely numerous. take a look at this bin. Well, it looks like I've picked something up. So let me remove the hose and see what that swiping action looks like. say time to go down to the first floor but before we go down to the first floor I should check out the automatic cord rewind yep that's working well
should just love that suction relief sound. You know what? Why don't I try this thing out on the couch, see how well it works. In case you were wondering, our dog Rosie was barking at a school bus going by. She feels a need to somehow protect us from all the students on the school bus. All right, so let's try this suction powered little cleaning device here. It's got a notch, it's supposed to fit in there. And in a pre-trial, I did find out that the suction relief valve down here might have a spring that uh, is getting a little weak and it might be opening a little prematurely. So you may hear uh, the speed of this kind of vary around a bit. out really well and this kind of springy action right here that's fantastic so this cleaning attachment this this uh, I don't know I guess you'd call it maybe an upholstery or stair tool this does a great job so big thumbs up LG claims this is good for hard floors brush roll off so let's see how well it works seems to work okay. Uh, maybe I'll have to do some bare floor tests with it, but it's easy to handle on bare floors. Just turn the brush roll off. isn't as loud as you think. It is not a high-pitched squealing noise like some of my older Dysons. It's actually much better than that, much more pleasant.
can't go through that way. carpet cleaning vacuuming with the LG compressor LUV 200 or I guess the love 200 but we got to take a look at that dirt let's examine the dirt Fibrous, though very fibrous. Oh, let's take a peek. Let's see what does this look like? Huh. Not bad at all. I'm sure there's some fine dust in there, but. This is not clogged up in any way, shape, or form. Take a look at these filters here. Ah, look at that. So, yep. Cyclones, not the greatest. Not bad. I mean, hey, you've seen worse. But this isn't bad. Interesting, we got a little hair there. All right. Now, look at this. I'll try not to mess that up too much. I suppose it's like little bricks or something like that. You can tell where it scrunched everything together. 
Normally this would be spread out. But you know what? Look at all that fibrous material. See all this? Yeah, look at that. That is not dirt. The fibrous material, well, there's hair in there, obviously. That is carpet, and that is the most amount of carpet that I've seen. <clears throat> so when you see people do some tests, and they say, look how much I picked up. Yeah, what is it, though? So let's take a look at the fine dust and dirt it picked up. When I remove the fibrous material, what I have, and some of it's still fibrous, you know, I'd have to go pick through it and whatnot. This is what I picked up. And this is my second floor and first floor combined. That's really the part that's important. This means I've got less carpet. So stay tuned for all the airflow and suction tests.